Time now to get you caught up on what else is making economic news this week. Here's Jason Doyle with the Oklahoma Business Review. Harold Hamm wants to take Continental Resources private. He sent the board of directors his proposal to acquire all the outstanding shares of common stock in the company at $70 a share. That's 9% more than the stock closed on June 13th. The Hamm family currently owns about 83% of the outstanding shares. The board of directors will consider the proposal. USA Rare Earth plans to build a $100 million manufacturing facility specializing in rare earth metals and magnets in Stillwater. The company plans to make materials to be used in such applications as electric vehicles, wind turbines, mobile electronic devices, and military hardware. This will be the first fully integrated rare earth metal manufacturing facility built in the U.S. USA Rare Earth plans to hire more than 100 workers and is expected to generate more than $6.6 .6 million in wages once the facility becomes operational. Oklahoma City-based Lopez Dorada Foods has named Francisco Pancho Gonzalez as the company's chief executive officer. Gonzalez has worked with other food-based companies during his career. He's expected to lead day-to-day -day operations and help position Lopez Dorada Foods to expand its product line and enter new markets. Lopez Dorada Foods supplies beef, pork, and poultry products to restaurant chains and retailers. Signify Health cut the ribbon on its new Oklahoma City Regional Service Center this week. The company is a healthcare software platform that creates payment programs. Signify Health plans to hire 200 people to work in the hub. A new study by LendingTree has found that Oklahoma has a high percentage of single father families when compared to the rest of the country. Single father families make up 6.1% of families in our state. Oklahoma is joined by Nevada and Montana as the only three states with more than 6% of families being raised by single dads. Jason Doyle, The Oklahoma Business Review.